Let us not raise up a generation that doesn't know God. If a generation arises and they don't know God, that onus, that's on us. Because we're not reproducing. We're not passing this truth down from generation to generation. Amen. Anyone that's ever sat in a Bible study that I've taught them, in life studies, if you've sat with me, anyone here? One thing I drill in them, Brother Peter, what do I drill? I said, I'm not teaching this Bible study so that you can warm a church pew. I'm not teaching this Bible study so that you can just be complacent coming to Sunday services. We teach Bible studies to equip you, to give you a foundation, to give you the tools that you need in order to go out into this world and reproduce. Amen. We're raising up soldiers for the kingdom of God. Going in waist deep will require you to get out of your comfort zone. Because it's only in that place where we will start to reproduce. We have been given a great commission, amen? We have been called to make disciples, baptizing people in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, which is the name of? Amen. This has been given to each of us today. We have a responsibility to reproduce. We are called to reproduce. Amen. But how are, the people, how are people supposed to know unless you reach and teach them? You reflect on the story of Cornelius. This was a man who had a hunger and a desire for God. His only issue was that he was a Gentile. Cornelius was part of a society that was considered unclean to the Jews. The Jews had no idea that God was extending the gospel out to the very people he instructed them to stay away from. Yet scripture describes Cornelius as a devout man. An angel of the Lord declared to Cornelius that his prayers and his arms had gone up as a memorial before God. I wonder if an angel, can an angel of the Lord say that about us? Cornelius was trying to honor God in Acts chapter 10 as best as he could. But he didn't have the whole revelation. He didn't have the whole revelation. The angel instructed Cornelius to send men to Joppa for Peter, which is about three days' journey. Why didn't the angel proclaim the gospel himself? That would have saved a lot of time, don't you think? Why didn't the angel of God just turn around and start preaching about, about Jesus? It's because it's given to us. That task... And the commission is given to us. That's our job. 